almost hold the other goggles, right? It was a big surprise. I was an active person. I was part of the judo team here. Reuben Hill is 22 and a physicist studying lasers at Imperial College London. Can for life we see it, so. It's the very technology that is to be used during surgery to remove a tumour from his brain. My inner scientist and like, is fascinated by what they're going to do because you know, how often do people get to you know, have things done to their own brain, um, and particularly when it's, it's cutting edge. A keen singer, this is the last rehearsal with his choir before the operation. His condition was discovered after he was found collapsed on the floor of his bedroom. I expect the tumour to be about here. Yeah. Um, A final chat the with his surgeon before head heading off to theatre and what will be the start of a groundbreaking trial at Charing Cross Hospital. OK, so this is obviously abnormal brain, uh, abnormal tumour here. So. This is the new laser technique in action. It measures light patterns to detect which cells are healthy and which cancerous. And if this trial is successful, might remove the need to send samples for analysis during operations. This system is very fast to use. It takes about a second to get a reading. So I think it gives us obvious advantages in terms of speed. A biopsy takes on average about 30 minutes to 40 minutes um, to, for the results to get back. And you're often waiting for the results um, you know, uh, with bated breath. So how does it work? The laser shines a near-infrared light onto the brain. The pattern of the scattered light which bounces off differs between healthy and abnormal cells, so surgeons know whether to cut or spare the tissue. In another innovation, when they do remove the tumour using an electro-surgical knife, the smoke produced is sucked into a mass spectrometer. This gives them a detailed molecular analysis of the tissue. This technology um, is essentially bringing the laboratory into theatre. It has amazing potential. Not only do we believe it will be able to differentiate tumour from normal brain, it will be able to differentiate the different types of tumour. So we can wake the patient up now. Ruben's tumour is near the part of the brain that controls speech and that can be easily damaged. That's why the team are now gently waking him up so that he can help them with the next phase of the operation. As the surgeons remove the last pieces of tumour, Reuben is asked to sing. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawn. This shows what they are cutting will not affect his speech. Again, whatever may pass, whatever. It's the culmination of a remarkable piece of surgery. Oh, oh my God. Two months on, and with the support of his family, Reuben is well on the road to recovery. The tumour was not cancerous, and he's looking forward to getting back to his PhD and to singing. Being ill gives you a lot of perspective, I think. I'll be remembering just to be happy.